Hi, this is Ian from sniptoit.com, and in this video, I'd like to introduce you to some new resources I've created for the EasyPress Mini. The first is a printable time and temperature chart for using Cricut iron on materials with the Mini. The second is a printable temperature range guide for using the Mini with non Cricut HTV like Caesar or Wallacut. And finally, I've designed a series of at-a-glance temperature range tags that you can keep with your mini all the time. All of these resources can be found on sniptoit.com in the article that accompanies this video. You can find the link to the article and all of these resources in the description below. In this video, I'll show you how to use each guide and I'll make two different styles of temperature range tag to demonstrate using the EasyPress Mini with Caesar HTV. If you're not familiar with the mini press, or you have one and you haven't used it that much. This small handheld heat press is a versatile tool for projects that are small or unusually shaped like hats or shoes. Here's a quick rundown of how the Mini works. The Easy Press Mini has only three heat settings, low, medium, and high. The Mini has no timer setting, so you must keep track of the press time manually. The Mini also does not communicate with the Cricut Heat Press app and the Mini requires firm pressure and constant movement for pressing almost all materials. This is to guard against press marks on your project. You can use the Mini Press with the Cricut Heat Guide, but if you prefer to have a printed hard copy on hand instead of referring to your laptop or phone, I have created a printable time and temperature chart based on the information in the Cricut Heat Guide. This is for using the Easy Press Mini with Cricut Iron-On and Infusible Ink. The first three pages of the heat guide are divided according to the type of base material you are using with Cricut Iron-On. There is a chart for garment fabrics like cotton, polyester, and blends. A chart for craft fabrics like neoprene, felt, and faux leather. And another chart for non-fabric materials like cardstock, chipboard, and wood. I've also created separate charts for using Cricut Iron-On and infusible ink with Cricut branded blanks. You can use this chart by looking up the iron-on type that you want to use, like Cricut Everyday Iron-on, and the type of base you're applying it to, like cotton. You'll see the recommended press setting, low, medium, or high, and the recommended time. I've also indicated the recommended pressure and whether or not you'll need to flip your fabric and press it from the back for 15 seconds. If you are using other heat transfer vinyl brands like Caesar, Thermoflex, or Wallacut, I've also created a temperature range chart to help you determine the best temperature setting to use with the Mini. The temperature chart includes the Mini setting, low, medium, or high, and the corresponding temperature range. Low, medium, and high are stable temperatures on the Mini. The temperature doesn't fluctuate, but Cricut has tested these temperature settings and found them to be best suited for materials pressed within the corresponding temperature range. So this means the low setting can be used to press materials that have recommended press settings between 255 and 295 degrees Fahrenheit. The medium setting can be used to press materials that have a recommended press temperature of 300 to 355 degrees Fahrenheit and the high setting can be used to press materials that have a recommended press temperature of 360 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The reference guide also includes Cricut's recommendations for the types of base materials best suited for each temperature range. You can look up the time and temperature settings for your HTV and cross-reference it with the appropriate temperature setting on the Mini. To make things even easier for you, I have created printable time and temperature charts for Caesar, Thermoflex, and Wallacut heat transfer vinyl that you can download from sniptoit.com. For example, Caesar Easyweed has a press temperature of 335 degrees Fahrenheit with the Cricut Easy Press. That corresponds to the medium setting of the Easy Press Mini. On the other hand, Wallacut Express has a press temperature of 250 to 305 degrees Fahrenheit so you should use the low setting on the Mini. The third resource I've prepared for you is a temperature range tag that you can make yourself using your Cricut machine. This simple tag lets you know at a glance what temperature range corresponds to each heat setting. And you can attach it to the power cord so it's always at hand when you're pressing. 
I've made multiple versions of this tag that are available for free in the article on sniptoit.com. But here are two versions that I will demonstrate using cardstock and HTV. The first tag is one I made in Design Space. It is simple cardstock drawn with pen and embellished with a Cricut Cutie. I cut the Cutie out of red Caesar Glitter HTV, but you can choose any material you like. According to my Caesar plus Easy Press temperature chart, glitter gets pressed at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which corresponds to the medium setting on the mini. You'll note I'm using parchment paper above and below my vinyl and base to protect my heat source and to prevent any stray glitter from getting on my work surface. Even though Cricut recommends using the mini with a press pad, in this case I'm pressing on my tabletop because I don't want to put a crease in the cardstock. I'm also using a liner sheet to protect my tabletop from the heat. After pressing the Glitter HTV for 15 seconds and giving it a few seconds to cool, I can peel off the carrier and it's perfectly adhered. The second tag I'm demonstrating is a retro Pac-Man design available for free download on my website. I'm making this with Caesar Easy Weed applied to cardstock, but you can make it with whatever materials you prefer. According to my Caesar Plus Easy Press chart, Easy Weed requires 330 degrees Fahrenheit which corresponds to the medium setting on the mini. I'm going to tack each easy weed piece for a few seconds, then peel it while it's still hot, and then I'm going to press everything for another 10 seconds. When the tag is complete, you can fasten it to the power cord of your mini, and you've got a super handy reference that will let you know what heat setting you should choose when pressing your projects. So that's my introduction to the Cricut Easy Press Mini and the Heat Press Guide. You can get all of my printable resources, links, and SVG files for making your own temperature range tag by going to sniptoit.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find these resources useful.